and everything and like they just don't sit there and look at you you know how like a dog like the dog just chilling on the bank he's probably just gonna stare at you these cows are the same way dude like look at them they're just like they're like watching us i'll just like look up it'll just be straight eye contact it's kind of awkward <laughs> dude, you can't, bro get out of here with that <laughs> dude that was, a, that was not a cow you can't tell me that was a cow that just coughed, bro. That cow just human coughed. Are you sure there's not a person right there? I'm telling you, that thing was making eye contact with me. <laughs> What's poppin' people? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're out on a beautiful farm pond. Listen, we don't get to do this often, so I'm super pumped about it today. Big shout out to Cody, which we got behind the camera. Thank you so much, Cody, by the way, for yeah, getting dude. us out here, man. Of course. Um, this is such a beautiful place. Got all the animals in the background, got some cows and horses, and we're just out here and just, just enjoying life. It's such a beautiful day. The weather is so nice. I'm actually gonna have to take this off in a little bit. But we're gonna be hopping in this pond today on a John boat, doing some John boat fishing. And we're just gonna cover a lot of water, try to catch some bass. He said there's some good ones in here, so I'm pumped about it. Last night it was actually a full moon. If you guys know anything about the full moon bite, all night they're usually feeding. Then when it comes to morning, the bite's a little bit slower. As the afternoon goes on, the bite picks up a little bit. So we're gonna see what happens today, but I think we're gonna catch them. What do you think, Cody? Oh yeah, we're think gonna get on. Good? Yeah. Think some be good? But if you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button. If you guys have been enjoying the content, that really helps out more than you guys know. By hitting that like button, it triggers the algorithm. And if, if you guys are wanting to support the channel, hitting that like button and commenting down below. That means so much. So we have the truck right here. Oh, pretty baby. Right here, and the sun is so harsh today. We've got barely any clouds in the sky. We also have the kayaks with us today. I brought the kayak trailer out, it's been a while. As you guys know, we can stack four kayaks here, you know, two on the bottom, two on the top. We brought these out, but this is not gonna be for the video that we're about to film. If you guys want to check this video out, make sure you hit the subscribe button, notification bell turn on, because this one's gonna be dropping very soon. We're gonna try to knock that out today as well. There's another pond down there, and the beautiful pond that we're fishing today is right here, and it is looking saucy. He said there's a bunch of big fish in here. And we're just gonna give it a shot today and hopefully hook a giant. We're actually using paddles today to paddle around. We don't have a trolling motor, but I think that's gonna be okay. We're gonna go ahead and launch the boat, get in the water, hook us a big fish. Oh, I got a little mud. <laughs> a little mud on my toe. Nice. All right, you ready to make it happen? Let's make it happen. Yeah, dude, I got like a lot of mud. I don't wanna get this thing all dirty. This time, guys, got the paddles out. Me and Cody, we're gonna work our way over to this bank, get started. I'm actually wearing like a little sweatshirt right now, and I'm gonna be honest, I really need to take it off, but we're gonna be outside a long time today and I just don't feel like getting really burnt. So, we're gonna wear this sweatshirt as long as we can, but it is it is pretty hot right now. So it's time to rig up a rod or two. Um, if I could throw anything out here, I'll talk to Cody. Cody fishes out here every once in a while. He said he usually catches them on a Texas rig, and I just think, the Texas rig is something that we need today, especially in this little pond. I'm just pumped up about it. It doesn't, I don't get to fish like any like farm, actual farm ponds like this. So I'm just excited. Hopefully we'll be able to snag a big one. What's the biggest one you caught, Cody? You're already snagged. Oh. <laughs> uh, biggest one out of here, probably six and a half, seven. Yeah. So they're in here is what you're saying. This super old. Well, I'm, I'm pumped, dude. I'm, just, I'm excited to just be out here. 
If we hook a 10 pounder today, Cody, I'm gonna. Did you bring an extra pair of pants? Um, no, I probably should have. I was gonna ask if we had a scale, but I think pants would be more beneficial in that situation. <laughs> Do you have a scale? I left it in my truck. Oh my gosh. Cody, you're fired. <laughs> you forgot the scale. <laughs> oh, you got one. No. -uh. Oh, he came off. You think that was a good one? It felt like a... <laughs> Cody I just... Again, no, you don't. No, you don't. Oh, my gosh. It is a good two-pounder. Look at that. Nice. Dude, I told you. <laughs> nice. I tried to tell you. Man. Look at it's this. Fun. Look at that. Dude, they're so pretty, too. Look yeah, at the colors, colors on that on fish. Thing. He's not the fattest, but just beautiful markings. Absolutely. Nice, Cody. Good. Cody snuck his rod in today. Yeah. Is he peeing? Oh, well. Dude, I can't wait. Next few weeks are going to be good. All right, she's all yours now, man. I just had to get you that one. You had to get that one? <laughs> you had to get it out of the way? Well, I didn't expect to get one that quick. You got me excited so now. came off, and then I just kind of jigged it a little bit. Yeah. I saw that, that's, that's crazy. Well guys, we're gonna be throwing this Summer Crawl Rage Crawl. One of my favorite colors of all time. This is the green pumpkin. And on the other side, it has like some of that chartreuse action. If you guys watched one of the recent videos where we went out and we were punching out of Chance's boat at that little lake, this is actually the crawl that I was punching with and they were smoking it. So I got high hopes. The water in here is fairly clear. It's not really too murky. So we're gonna make it happen. Just a simple Texas rig, got a quarter ounce weight, three uh, extra wide gap hook, rage crawl. Let's get it started. <laughs> yeah, I did. I got a little excited. He started running at me a lot. It's funny, I, I like threw up there and I felt him hit it. I felt the vibration between my rod. Next thing you know, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, I felt him just like slap it. So I, I felt one hard hit. So I wasn't even gonna reel down and make sure he was on there. I knew he already had it. So I got a hook set and he was like probably four foot out closer to the boat and just had too much slack in my line. It's like a little two pounder. Wasn't nothing crazy, but that would have been good, good to start it off. Should be one on the end of that tree. It is, I was reeling it. That was so weird. Like I was just about to reel the bait in and he just clobbered it. A little tiny one pounder, but look at the markings on this bass. Look at that rage curl right in the top of his mouth. Pops right out. Now look at that fish. Look at the markings on that bass. Beautiful lateral line on him. Well, listen, that is not much. A little one pounder, but hey, start off the day, you gotta start somewhere. And now I got to get us off this bank. <laughs> they smoke that summer curl, rage curl. Well, there we go. We got the first one out of the way. We're going to keep on working down this bank and fishing some of these trees along the edge. And then we're probably going to run to the other side of this pond. I'm just hoping we can get us like a really big one today. But that fish bit so weird. It was like I was working it back. Then I started to reel it and he just slammed it. They're just like hitting it and not eating it all up. Might switch up colors here in a minute if they keep doing that. That's a good one. No. It's a little bigger than the last one. Felt decent. Just missed him the cast before, guys. I thought 
I was about to say I might change up this color if they keep hitting like that, but threw back in there and he smacked it. They hit it good out here. I'll tell you that. Another little dude, nothing much, but pretty fish. Get him back in the water. There's a bunch of trees along this bank still and some isolated little stumps out here in the middle that I'm gonna flip on. Those isolated stumps out here probably would hold a bigger fish. Get a couple good flips on there with this curl. Oh my, that's a good one. It's bigger than the other ones. It's like two pounds, I thought it was three. Wasp is over here trying to get me. I smacked him with my rod and this fish bit. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. He ain't even two pounds, he's a pound and a half. Right there in the top of his mouth though, he ate that thing good. Right off that little tiny isolated grass patch right there. This is just fun guys, getting out in the outdoors. You know, the weather's finally getting nice. Just getting to do some good old bass fishing. And I'm just so excited for the spring and this bite's gonna heat up and everybody's gonna be catching some good fish. And then the summer, you know, it's gonna be a lot of fun, but looking forward to it. That's our third fish of the day. We still haven't gotten any big ones yet, but you know, that's the start. What was that? Wasp, <laughs> was it a wasp? I saw it in the shadow, it was just like <laughs> And I'm like, whoa. There's so much grass in here. And it's weird because I've never seen this type of grass. But what we're gonna do, get us like a little EWG extra wide gap hook. I'm gonna cut off this lipless crankbait because to be honest, it's useless out here. You just get grass every single cast. So I'm gonna put this extra wide gap hook on and the bait that I'm gonna be putting on the hook is gonna be just a standard fluke. When you have a lot of grass, you know, flukes, um, like weightless flukes, and you have, you know, even a weightless Senko would kill it in that as well. So I think that's gonna be our go-tos today. Weightless fluke, weightless Senko, maybe that Texas rig crawl, and that's what's gonna end up catching them. Mainly soft plastics, you know, I might try to throw that chatterbait a little bit, but it's just hard with all that grass. Doesn't wanna get through it. The color fluke that I'm throwing is actually a disco blue. And it's pretty much just a pearl fluke, but it's a little more translucent. You can kind of see through it. It's got some black and blue glimmer in there. And right here with it being a sunny day, this is gonna, when the sun hits it, it's gonna glow a little bit more in the water. On a cloudy day, I'd throw more of that white, that regular pearl color. Um, but in the sun, you know, add something with a little bit of glow, can do the trick. There we go, right away on that fluke. We just tied it on, that was probably our third cast with it and this is the best fish today. Not a big one, but about pulled the dang rod out of my hand. Look how he ate that fluke, right there in the back of his throat. That's exactly how you want those fish to eat it. That's like third cast, we, we, you know, we adjusted. There's a ton of grass in here. We're like, you know what? We wanna throw something that's a moving bait, but something that's gonna get through that grass and tie that fluke on and bingo. Got some little bass. I just know there's some big ones to be caught. We're just gonna have to keep on covering some water, but I think this fluke is just gonna change the game today. Oh, that's had a boil. He just ate it. That was so cool. Literally watched them boil behind it. I was working it super fast and I just paused it and watched the fluke disappear. It's, the water's getting a lot more clear back here and it's a little bit shallower as well. I was just watching the fluke sitting there, just paused it for two seconds and he just bloop, sucked it down. Jeez. 
Jeez, he's running. These fish are fighting like they're 12 pounds. <laughs> they got a lot of attitude for how small they are. He looks a little better, maybe a little better. Or is it just a salad that we got with him? Eh, about the same size. That was next cast though. I'm finally getting dialed in with this fluke. There's something I can throw. That Texas rig was getting a little annoying for me for a second there, but it was still catching them. But this fluke is just smoking these bass. And look at the top of his lip right there. A little bit of red. That's a pretty old bass. It's all like the same size, but let's get a good, let's get a good release right here, Cody. Never mind, I lied. It's time for a new fluke. I did not bring the Z2s by Strike King, which are the elastic flukes. Those are the ones I've been using recently and they last like literally 10 fish. I didn't have any, I just have like a random Zoom Super Fluke. And I, I can already tell the difference, I'm gonna be honest. And I use Zoom Super Flukes my whole life, but switching over to the Z2s, it's like, honestly, I like it a lot better just because you can literally use one fluke for like 10 fish. You don't ever have to switch out. So we got big Steve on the phone. What'd you want to say? <laughs> What's the poppin' people? I just wanted you guys to hear the real Steve Pescatelli for a second. I'm just leaving the gym, and sometimes when you're an old man, you start reflecting on your life and what you've done and what's important to you. And sometimes you guys don't get to hear, you know, I just like to call my son and tell him how proud I am of him and what a good man he's become and how much I love him and how that that's the most important accomplishment in my entire life. And son, I think it's just time for people to hear some stuff like this. I'm just so proud of you and I love you so much. Thank you. I and love you too. No I appreciate that. Life, no matter what's going on in my life, I can always just reflect on you, son. And it, it just brings a smile to me. I appreciate that. No, thank you. I really, when I answered the phone, I was kind of laughing because I thought you were going to talk some smack like you always do to the camera. I think everybody expected <laughs> that one. Is there any smack talking you want to you want to talk right now? Sorry, just get it off your chest because I already know it's coming. <laughs> well, whatever you want to learn how to fish, you bring me back on the video. Okay, so you okay, I was waiting on it to come out. <laughs> nice. I'll let you down there get your little warm up and get some practice in, you know, because yeah. when you're already at the top and you know how to catch fish, you don't need a lot of practice. So you go ahead and take your time. When you're ready, you call me. All right. <laughs> Just Thank to you. Reflect, son. I love you. I love you too. Bye. 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 Some kind words out of Big Steve's mouth. It's usually some a lot of trash talking, but I appreciate that call. Big Steve, if you guys want to see Big Steve back in the vlogs, let me know down below. Hit the like button. Hashtag Bring Dad Back down in the comment section down below. Let's get back to fishing. Oh my God! I just pulled it out of one's mouth doing that. Did you? Yeah. That's probably the best one today. Mr. Wasp, I told you he's a meanie. He did it to us. I literally tried to smack him out of the air. And next thing you know, I just feel, uh, pulls back on me. We were just talking about that wasp. I didn't even know it was around. Uh, no, like right when you said that, I like, looked to the left, he's just coming right for me. Like, Ooh, there's a boil up there. Oh my God, he hit my line. Did you see it? I'm gonna reel it up to him. Oh, you got it. It's a tiny one. That was the weirdest bite of my whole life. The <laughs> I'm gonna break my rod trying to hit this thing out of the sky. Look at this fish, dude. Have you ever seen anything like that? I sadly got the corner of his eye. Are you okay? He is perfectly fine. Oh my gosh. Literally the bass like hit my line. I reeled my fluke up to him and he was just running off with it. I didn't even hook set. Is that not crazy? <laughs> like look how small that fish is. It's pretty. Wow. Gotta love it. Should be one there, dude. I'm dead. Hopefully. Yeah, he ate it. That's a good one. That's the biggest one yet. Oh, yeah. 
He's got a big mouth, small body. That's not the biggest one. They're like all honestly twins. He looks big. He eat that fluke though. Look at that. We actually just started back. Or we came back to where we started at the beginning of the day. You know, I was throwing that crawl. Cody caught that one on the worm too. You know, I figured out this fluke bite way back in the back of this pond. Brought it up here, first cast up there, and sure enough, he had it. So we're gonna make a couple more. We just dropped the anchor because the wind's been blowing us. It's hard with the paddles, but we're making it work. No way. He literally ate it. I threw it in there. Nice. Right up along that bank. I made a ton of cast right down here, kind of trying to fish off. And I threw right up there on that bank and he just happened to eat it right away. Nothing big. We haven't gotten any big ones today, but just the markings on these bass are pretty. It's a nice day outside and just enjoying it. He's running. Dude, that's a good one. Actually. Oh yeah, that's the best one all day. Solid two pounder. Let's go. I'm on the other side of that bank. Cody's over here getting some sweet germ shots. Look at that. That's the best one. Nothing crazy, but we're getting bigger. Ate that fluke pretty good. Got all this wind pushing up on that other side of the bank and just threw that in there and he picked it up. That's a good fish. Fat, healthy, chunky. Thank you, bud. Well, we just got off the John boat and let me tell you, I had a good time this morning. It is just super hot. You know, I'm wearing a sweatshirt and it is like probably 80 degrees out right now. I'm burning up. I'm about to take this thing off. The reason I was wearing it is because I know I'm going to get burnt today. My neck is already feeling a little toasty. My face is feeling toasty and my son and my arms have not seen sun in a very long time. So I was like, you know what? I just don't want to get fried. The first half of the day, I'm going to wear a sweatshirt. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button on it. Um, drop your feedback down below in the comment section, but I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for the support, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.